Shut up and sit down. Hello and welcome back to the S Hit Show. Hey, we've been Podcast. gone for a while. And you now we're you drunk. You fucked so up my, my intro, but who cares? It's off the rift anyway. Who gives a fuck? Thank you for patting my bald head. Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Hope you had a happy new year. Merry Kwanzaa, happy Easter, and all the other fucking bullshit. Jack Daniels, buddy. Whatever holiday it was that made you spend a ton of money, there I you hope go. you enjoyed it. I'm just it out. Hell yeah. Take it like a man. Yummy. Woo! Yeah, so let's start off, uh, first things first. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is coming out. Remake, baby. I'm fucking stoked for it. I can't get a motherfucking, uh... Pre-order, because GameStop's all out, and it's fucking bullshit, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, fun fact, tell me about it, because I have no shit about it. Uh, the, Nemesis' new, uh, you, have you seen his new, um, look? No. He looks like fucking trash. He's got, he's got a nose now, it's all crooked. Why? And, like, his teeth are all fucked up, they look like piano keys. Let me, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Yeah, Alright. Uh, but in the meantime, Jill looks pretty cool. I think they're exploring the... Uh, infected aspect of the story more, which is awesome. So I'm not sure if you're uh, familiar with how Resident Evil 3 worked. Um, there was a part in the game where Jill gets infected with Nemesis's tentacle, and uh, she has a chance of uh, turning, uh, but Carlos saves her. And it looks like they dive deeper into that, and they actually show her as like a zombie and shit, which is kind of crazy. I wonder if uh, you fail as Carlos, uh, if you actually get to see Jill as a zombie. As far as Resident Evil's gone. I played two, four, and six. <clears throat> I mean, you played some. You played. You played two really good ones and one ass. But the one that was ass was kind of fun in a weird way. Uh, six was only good if I had someone else playing. That's what I'm saying. It was like it was a good like co-op game, but like as a Resident Evil game, it was fucking kind of weak. Um, it didn't feel Resident Evil. So yeah, there there he is. See him with his fucking piano keys and cricket nose. Ew. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I like, I would have liked to see him with like fang teeth, like in the original, uh, in the original like advertisements, he had like more fang teeth. I I'd like to see a more realistic style nemesis. I feel like this is a little bit more stylized. Not that nemesis is like a realistic looking character, but. Listen, if you're going to go fucking crazy with him, you should just go fucking balls out. Yeah, and then they, they also have He's this. He's a monster. This, like, side profile shot of him which looks real stupid. Um, which I don't like at all. Like, he doesn't... Again, I think it looks dumb. He looks fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. No. So he looks like a chewed up wad of gum, and I'm just not uh, happy with his design, but... It is what it is. Little hunky daddies. He's a chewed up wad of gum or before. Yeah. Sure is. Um, I, I can't I can't get the collector's edition because they're sold out of GameStop, so that sucks dumb you dick. That's okay, GameStop's gonna go extinct anyway. I, I think I think majority of the GameStops are gonna go extinct. Not all, because the amount of stores they have is like fucking retarded because they bought all the EB games and all that shit up and they opened a bunch of stores. I know their stock's doing like real bad right now, but it'd also be a really good time to buy because you think their stock's probably gonna go up once the new consoles hit. Because that's normally the trend of uh, how GameStop works. I think as we get more and more digital, they're going to have less and less to work with. Their market was based primarily in the fact that they get to resell games and not pay the developers. But there's still a shit ton of used games floating around. Not as much as there was, mind you. I will give you that. But um, now you it, have like the PSN. Here's, here's the thing. The, they're, they're fucking up. They're fucking up completely because they're not, uh, they're not catering to that retro market enough. You know what I mean? They should go not full many people are fucking retro, oh, and they would not you know have what? a problem. Except for like the Switch, because I've been in their uh, Nintendo Online stuff, and it is full of retro. Dude, shit. everyone likes retro shit, right? Fucking the Metroid, PS5, original Kirby, and uh, Xbox Series X. Did you see that console yet? So the Xbox, the new Xbox has been uh, revealed as the Xbox Series X. It legit looks just like a, a like computer tower. It's like a rectangle. You know, I have seen a picture of it. I have no idea what it's for. Yeah, it's just, it just it's just a fuck. It's just an the new Xbox, but the name scheme is fucking dumb as hell. The Xbox Series X is what it's called. We can just call it like the fucking Xbox, like I don't know, four or whatever the fuck, whatever generation we're on right now for it. 
You know what I mean? Just to make things simpler. You just made it the X Xbox. Fuck! You already have the Xbox One S, right? And now you're gonna have the Xbox Series S. What the? What the fuck are you guys doing? Right? You, that's like calling something like, oh, we're gonna have the Wii and then the Wii U. Everyone thought the Wii U was just like a fucking expansion for the tablets. They're like, you're like, hey, Sony, do you want to win this console generation? Well, here you go. Because have you seen the PS5? The PS5 hasn't been officially uh, released yet. Those images are just, uh, they're like fan images. Fair enough. So, the, the because I saw the Xbox in the same video with the PlayStation, I wasn't sure if that was. Yeah, it's not legit at all. So, uh, but apparently both of them are supposed to be fully backwards compatible, and they're supposed to have like no listen, loading time. Listen. I don't believe that for a second. I'm sorry. It's just every console we've had so far was like, oh yeah. You know what? We're it's gonna be backwards compatible, so all of our other games are gonna work for it. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And then we get it, and it's not. Like we had the PS2 that could play the PS1. Yeah. And the Xbox came out when the PS2 came out, and it didn't have a prior generation. The PS3 played all three though, right? Only certain models. Played. Only certain models. The first, the first and only generation certain games. No, no, no. The first generation was fully backwards compatible with every game. Really? Sort of God. Yeah. Every game. That you had was fully backwards compatible for the PS uh, PS3, but they they took it out because the PS3's price was six hundred dollars. No one could afford it. So in order to cut costs, they cut that. They cut a bunch of USB ports. They cut a bunch of my uh, the, the amount of um, memory card slots on that thing was insane because it was a multimedia device. It really wasn't just a console. It like played DivX. And all this other crazy shit. So it's supposed to be like your all-in-one home entertainment system. Anything you want to do with this thing, you could. Right? It even had open source like Linux. Which is fucking insane. So, uh... I did not have a PS3. Yeah, PS3 was, uh... I went 2 to 4. Was uh, a, little, a little crazy there. I, I think Xbox uh, definitely captured the market in North America's. And, uh... Sony eventually caught up, but it was after... They price cutted it to like three hundred dollars, and got all the bugs and kinks worked out of it. It was a bitch to fucking develop for. That's for sure. Right now, what is it like five hundred? What was that? The rumor for the price point right now is yeah, like five hundred bucks. Both these consoles are supposed to like do eight K, have no loading times, all this other crazy shit. Yeah, fuck we'll that. see what happens. I have a fucking TV that can play eight K. There's a TV that plays 8K. I don't have a TV that has 8K. I don't. I have like a 4K TV that's ass because that doesn't have high dynamic range, so it's pretty much fucking obsolete. Like my most high tech screen in my house right now is my fucking computer monitor. Yeah. What's what's the resolution of that thing? 4K. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 4K is I think where everyone needs to be at, and I think um. I think 8K is accessible. Majority of these consoles will play at 4K, which is cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I think I think they're kind of future proofing it, saying it can get up to 8K. You think TVs are going to jump from four to eight in the two years that it takes from developing a new model? Two yeah. To five years? Well, you got to think how fucking long has it been since like they were, they were doing 1080p, and while they were doing 1080p, there was 4K TVs out there that just weren't as as uh, widespread as they are today. Same thing with 8K TVs. There are 8K TVs out today, right? The only benefit of having an 8K TV is if you have a bigger size TV. Like if you have an 80 inch television or like bigger, then you want 8K. You know what I mean? As people need more uh, pixels for their bigger televisions, because who doesn't want a fucking bigger television? Listen, full VR. Virtual reality. That's it. Nah, dude. I don't. I don't think that's the future, man. I think it's too much of pain in the ass. I don't think so. I think. I think it is, man. I think. I think people are like their televisions. They like their iPads. They like all that other shit. Think uh, about stepping into your favorite TV show, dude. That's like fucking holograms now. You're not even talking about VR. VR full immersion. I don't. I don't know, man. I. I think there's some cool aspects I'm about it. I'm not saying it. you're gonna be taking part in your favorite TV show. But you get to watch it from a front row seat. Yeah. There's, like, VR chat shit out now, which is kind of popular. But, like I said, it's just the fact of getting everybody on board. Like I said, it could be the future. But television... What's more simple than just turning off fucking television and hitting up Netflix? 
Right? That's what fucking most people want. Right? And if it looks good, awesome. That's it, right? You know how hard it would be uh, to actually film a television show in VR? It'd be virtually impossible to film, like, an actual television show in VR. You'd have to go full, like, computer video game shit in order to actually ha it, it happen. Put the VR and you're sitting in the theater by yourself. Yeah, but like I said, no, but there's there's a lot of there's a lot of caveats to that. A lot of people want or motion sickness from VR, right? No matter what VR they got, it, it could be the best of the best. People are still motion sickness of it because of the way VR is, right? Um, it fucks with their eyes and they'll get sick. So like I said, it's just not mainstream enough that it would be that massively popular, right? Like if VR was gonna happen, it would have happened when PSVR dropped, and it kind of went like, eh? Like another kind of like gimmick shit. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's fucking dope as shit. But I don't think that's like the future. I think if anything, I saw uh, today they have these TVs that are like, they have, they're like in depth, right? So they actually look like there's shit in them. If that makes sense. They're not really 3D. They're not coming at you. But they're like hologram displays. Like they're field. hologram displays, pretty much. And I think that's sort of where everything is going. The processing power and everything for that is fucking like insane. Um, and I think that would be kind of like where. What's next as far as uh, technology? Because I think VR isn't really in its infancy at this point. It's kind of at. Not its peak either, but it's kind of at like a pretty good level. Like, did you see the new Oculus they got out now? No, I don't. It's a totally wireless system. You don't need a computer. You don't need a PC. It's all in the headset, and it works fine. Right? So you could run, like, Resident Evil and shit. Like, I'm not sure if, like, Resident Evil's actually on there, but you can run VR games just on the headset. Um, and it's, like, four or $500. But, like, I don't know who the fuck's gonna pay for that. You know what I mean? Like, why? Why would you just buy that, and then all your games are digital, and you're Kind of fuck. I'd rather all get the a, games are going to be digital. I don't think so. That's the other thing is everyone's been saying that, but I don't think so because there's there's certain people that won't fucking go for it. You know what I mean? Would you would you go for a digital? All digital? Do I want to? No. Exactly. That's the I like having the hard cap the hard copies, the fucking terrible thing. I like the fact that I don't have to pay for a cloud storage system for all my data. And all that game, and fucking have a library built up where I could just pull that shit down and fucking use it. I get the convenience, but I like the fact that I just pop in a disc and keep the play. Yeah, that's it. But, like, the, the next generation of consoles are definitely discs. For, for sure. They're, you're going to have a model where it's digital only. But the, the amount of money you're saving per disc is insane. And that's what these companies don't understand. Like, the Google, uh... Stadia that just that just released is that is that Google? Yeah, it's Google Stadia, right? So all those games are full priced, and you don't even own them. They're just streamed to you, and it's all fucking shot the fuck out. That's the other thing I'm worried about is, uh, you know what? I'd really like to play Kingdom Hearts three. Oh wait, I didn't pay for a cloud storage subscription. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's like, but I spent sixty bucks on the game. I'd like to play the game. Well, fuck you. You're not a member. Exactly, like, if these companies really want digital work, right, and it's it's not going to work, it wouldn't make financial sense for it to work, they would have to have a Netflix subscription to make it happen, right? The thing about Netflix, it's all old shit, right? There's no really new shit besides Netflix originals, yeah, right? But people still go to the movies to see the shit that's out now, they play, pay those high prices tickets. You get what I'm saying? So, us gamers are kind of in the same boat. We pay the high prices to get the games first, and we get the physical copies. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're not going to a theater and, and just watching it once, but a game is, is different from a movie because you get to play it multiple times and get different results. You get what I'm saying? 
The only thing I do like about the digital copies, as long as the storage for that remains free, is I don't have to wait the fucking line for the that releases shit like that. I just buy the game. Yeah. Release date comes out. I put in a code. I got the game. I mean, it's more convenient, and I think digital should always be an option. But I think physical will never really go away. Mainly, I like the way my bookshelf looks with physical. Physical games are great. You can fucking sell them, give them to a friend, all this other shit. Not that complicated. And the other thing I don't like about digital, if you don't have an internet connection, you're fucked. Your internet goes out, you're fucked. You, you can only play with preload. That's it. You're done. It's it's not gonna happen. So like, I think the future is they want to have everything stream. I think Xbox is probably offering the best option as far as digital with their Game Pass. Um, to be honest with you, so like they could they give their uh, first party releases to the Game Pass like membership, and they can just download it straight to their console, and it's just theirs as long as the, the Xbox recognizes that their uh, subscription is active. If I'm not mistaken, probably. You know, so I think that's like the best deal out of everybody. But uh, still, it's like, you know, the country's infrastructure for uh, internet is not where it needs to be in order for all this shit to happen. And I think a lot of these companies are based in, like, California and Seattle and like, all these places with great internet connections. And they're not recognizing that, like, hey, not everyone has access to this shit that you guys do. Well, not to mention the fact that, like, a lot of places we consider to be, like, third world are better than what we do because they actually have competitive... Yeah, that's units. that's true. I think there's a little bit more of a, there's a little bit competitively in America, but not too much. And like I said, rural areas are they really own, what's going to get hard. Like Verizon owns their area, Comcast owns their area, fucking Time Warner owns their area. Yeah, and they all run their own lines. Yeah. In other countries, it's they all have to share lines, so they have to they have to up their game for their your business. Yeah. I don't know. Either way. Um, Hopefully Google Fi actually happens. I don't. I don't think it is at this point. And I. I think Google is uh, kind of fucked on this uh, pipe dream. But uh, let's segue over to the Sonic movie because we're definitely gonna see that soon. So you like the redesign, right? It's fucking oh, crazy. Oh fuck yeah! The redesign is way better than that other rat thing they had running around. Oh hell yeah! It really looked like some human fucked a rat, dyed it blue. <laughs> And then put it in sneakers. It's some dark web shit, dude. It was fucking creepy looking. Yeah, it was bad. It was really bad, man. Fuck. Uh, I, thank God they got rid of that design. That new design's gonna be great. I'm still kind of mad I won't see the original drunk. Like, I really wanted to see it, like, drunk and that, review it. That was the plan. I did want to see that weird mutant creature rip it out of my mind. Cheers to that, by the way. There's still masks available on Amazon if you want to buy a mask. I say I say we buy a mask and wear it. Wear the old mask while we watch the new it's one. It's like fifty dollars though. It's like gone up in value, Fuck which you. is like I'm insane. Bucks on that thing. Ugh, am I gonna have to spend fifty dollars on it again, bro? <laughs> you wear the old one, I'll wear the new one. There you go. Sonic. Um. Uh, yeah. Apparently, there's a. Uh, did you see Baby Sonic? No, I didn't see Baby Sonic. God, yeah, there's like a Baby Sonic to rival Baby Yoda. Like, he's adorable and he holds a flower. And apparently there's Nakidnas in there fucking... Like, behind them, there's like a tribe of Nakidnas. I don't know if they're like protecting him or hunting him, but... There's fucking like Knuckles might be in the movie. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> that would kept, be even worse. Wouldn't it be awesome if they kept his design, like they they, they saved him as a design, but they kept the old design for the Nakidnas, so they looked all fucked up, like human, like half breed yeah. motherfuckers. That'd be awesome. I'd watch. Like, yeah, just I'd, random spikes on their fingers. Oh, the other thing is, do you think they're actually gonna make a nod to like, uh, let's say he sees like a poster of himself in the movie, and he's like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> I that would be a fucking great I ass Easter think egg. They're going to, dude. I would fucking like be like, yeah, yeah. I feel like they might have, yeah, if he was the original version they had planned. 
where he's like looking at a game of himself or a poster of himself or some shit. Come on, how funny would it be if they I did the fucking think thing? Do it in reverse. Like, no. I gotta give this movie a lot of props. They like listen to people and they fucking like redid the whole fucking movie. Oh yeah, I, fuck dude, they pushed that shit off a while. No doubt, dude. Oh, we got we got a fucking we got. Month, bro, like I'm so excited! I can't wait to ditch my wife and go watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get out of here, bitch! I'm watching Sonic. <laughs> I'm, Valentine's Day is over now. Fuck it's you. almost midnight. I got that. I got them. I got them. Fucking head chalk, bitch! <laughs> I'm ready. I'm gonna go fucking fast. It's time to go to the movies with my friend. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I love you, baby. Me and Zero, we're going to see a movie. That's it. Yo, uh, segue into another topic. Have you seen the Tesla Cybertruck? No. Who the fuck have you been, dude? Um. Holy shit. Yeah, I gotta show you the Tesla Cybertruck. So anyway, long story short, uh, Tesla, you know who Tesla is, yes. like, what, what the company is and everything, right? So they make this new truck to, like, envy, like, Ford and Chevy and all these other motherfuckers. The dude, the, the fucking truck looks like a fucking thing out of fucking Halo. It looks like one of those fucking cars. It's fucking full stainless steel. It's got all these fucking, like, crazy edges and shit, right? It's like, it's like a tank, you know, and all this other shit. And, like, in his fucking, like, press conference... He's like, yes, the windows are bulletproof. Like, nothing can get through this. And they throw a steel ball at it, and the window shatters. And he's like, oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> and I was like, yes. But the crazy thing is, the amount of, like, what you're getting for how much it is is actually, like, really competitive. Like, um, so it's all electric, one number one, right? The thing can fucking, like, pull, like, a ton of shit. It kind of looks cool. Like, it's... It looks weird, but it's kind of, like, I kind of think cool, it's cool, weird. right? Because it's, one, it's different. Number two, it's American. I'm all, I love, I love everything American. I don't give a fuck. It's Tesla, Ford, Chevy, anything better than, like, it's better than a Honda. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Honda, fuck Toyota. I'm all American. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am. You know, so whatever. If fucking, the uh, fucking Cybertruck's the future, like, let's go. But it's got an all stainless steel body. So think of fucking like the fucking uh, thing from Back to the Future, the DeLorean. It's all stainless steel. But the thing is, a lot of people are like, yo, how the fuck is this going to pass in, like regulations? It's like, it won't because the way it's designed. It's like, a tank. It, yeah, it looks like a fucking tank. Why does it need to be bulletproof? Well, I don't Where know, dude. Where are you dude. driving this it, shit? It, it just looks fucking awesome. But like, the other thing is, like, I actually thought about like, I'm like, oh, let's buy this. Because it's its own generator. Like, we can take this shit, the gigs, and fucking do the gigs of this shit. Like, photo booths. I'm like, holy fuck, that's awesome. You know what I mean? And, like, the other thing is, it's got its own solar panels. And it's only, like, $50,000. That's actually not bad. That's what I said. That's so, actually not bad. So let me show you, like, an image of it. I'll, like, pull the image up on the video. I'm still kind of hung up on the fact that it's a tank. Like, bulletproof. Like a fucking tank. All right, look at this shit. It's it's Walking Dead ready. All right, that's kind of cool looking. All right, and then like that's like the solar panel, and then like the, the the thing like protrudes like back into itself. Like those things like move, so it's actually like a pickup. It's fucking crazy, dude. But like uh, like I said, in order for it to be like street legal, I I don't know uh. if it's actually gonna actually come out. You can pre-order right now for like $50, though. I was just like, that's fucking crazy. What is stopping it from being street legal? I think it has to have some sort of, um, uh, like it has to have a fault in it, so it crumbles, right? So that way, when it hits, like, if it ever hits a pedestrian, yeah. it's not a fucking, uh, like a safety hazard. So there's a bunch of safety hazard sets involved with it. To make it street legal. Yeah. You I mean, get what I'm saying? You don't have those crumple zones because you're driving a tank. Yeah, that's that's the problem, right? Like, if you hit somebody, like, they're fucking dead. I'm um, dead anyway. The, Even if, in our cars if you have, like, a full... It's a car on car collision. No doubt. But, but, I'm just, but I'm just saying, like, it, if it's just a fucking stainless steel body, it's going to have fucking problems. The other thing is, I think certain cars have to be uh, in color. Right, they have to have some sort of like, oh shit, like that's there. You know what I mean? Well, they had orange ones in there, you remember? 
That's the Street League version. That's what there, there, there was a whole video um, the unboxing guy did. I forget his fucking name, but he's like, in order for this to be Street League, this is what it would have to do. Um, I'm not sure if that's stateside or Europe. I know Europe's like really strict as far as their. I don't think it would live really there at all, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting time for sure. Uh, like I said, it looks cool. It's got one of those fucking wheels that aren't actually wheels. It's like a fucking uh, controller thing. So yeah. Okay. You, you ever see those fucking like the Men in Black? Fucking yeah. Two fucking kind of. It's like uh, the fucking jet pilot. Yeah. Controls. Um. Right. Uh, the interior on. isn't really anything to look at, but it's still cool nonetheless. Yeah, but neither was the original Tesla. All the interior extras were at that just that extras. Yeah. Um, definitely something to think about. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I ever leave my Silverado or not. I love my Silverado. Well, I don't have a pickup, so not yet. One day, I will have. One. Hopefully, you join that Silverado <laughs> clan. I think the F one. Oh, there's the other thing. I was looking at the average. The uh, F one fifty is like the leading um, whatever fucking truck in the, the U S. And they did a tug of war test between the Tesla and the Chevy. And the fucking Tesla just ripped the whole fucking back off of them. It's fucking insane. But there's a lot of speculation on whether or not that's real. Um, and some guy on YouTube, like, did his own test. Like, he just did, a, like, the highest-end Tesla versus his Ford and the Tesla one. Because the electric is just so fucking much, uh, uh, it's, like, better. Got, like, so much torque? Yeah, it's, it's so much more torque. Um, as composed, you know... Electric hydraulics. Yeah, I don't know. Either, either way, like, the, the, the electrics are not a fuck with. They're fast cars. They just got stupid design. Give me an electric car that looks like a Chevy Nova. I'll buy it. I don't think it's that unreasonable to do. They're just trying to make themselves different. But so I'm just out. saying, give me a fucking electric car that looks like a classic muscle car. Fucking game over. Give me an electric car that looks like a fucking challenger on there. That's it. It's fucking I'm done, right. dude. Like, I'm that's not even it. arguing because I love the future tech with the old one. So, uh... Hi, guys. So, anyway, um... So, yeah, I want to... I want to... I want an old-looking car with newer shit in it would be cool. I think even... Even older cars with old shit in it is still cool, though. Like, because the fucking engine sounds amazing. Yes. Right? Is like uh, this fucking awesome. As much <clears throat> as I hate to admit it. Yeah. The old engine sounds that they have coming on external speakers is pretty realistic. I'll give them that. I don't like it. I like But the that's true... gay. <laughs> I like the true that's it. But I also don't want to fill up my gas tank every time. I Here's the other thing about electric cars, right? You ever hear like, all right, so no, like, you I, never was, hear them. I was watching a video on the Tesla truck, and you actually heard the fucking um, like the wheels or whatever, how they designed the wheels or something, made this fucking cool sound. Really. Well, the whole thing needs a sound game. because quite frankly, that sound is what gives me. That's it, man. It's sexy. It's sexy. Um, like I said, fucking, uh, if they if they give me a classic car. Look with fucking shit. I, I can see electrics going all the way. Um, I don't think the classic cars will ever go out of date. If that makes sense, I think no. your, your Camaros, your Novas, your fucking um, the Dodge version of that shit. Your, uh, your Mustangs. The, no, that's Ford. No, I know that, but I'm just the, saying the, the Mustangs. The Dodge is the Camaro. The, that's fucking uh, Chevy. Dude. Dodge cha Charger Challenger. Oh yeah, uh, whatever you have your uh, your Challenger, your uh, your Charger I'm Hellcat so Demon. Yeah, I don't think those will ever go out of style as far as look and um, like body appeal. Um, however, forgive me, car guys, I'm not a huge car guy. Yeah, I'm not like super uh, super. I'm I'm starting to get into it. I want to buy a fucking bitchin' Camaro and get a sticker that says bitchin' on it. But just I want I want a Charger. Yeah. That is go. my that is my fucking dream car. Wasn't that the uh, the Dukes of Hazard car charger? Yes, but I'm honestly I'm thinking more like fucking like a newer Fast and Furious. like a newer charger, like the fucking Dodge Demons are fucking no joke, dude. They're fucking awesome. Yeah, but I don't know if they're better than the Hellcats. They're kind of just like the same thing to me. Yeah, like is it, is it all Dodge or something? 
Yeah, they're both dodge, but like this demon's supposed to I think to have a little bit more horsepower. Demons are like ready for the fucking like fucking track and shit. But, so but like, cats. but here's the thing: the demon just power? sounds better. Like I'd want to ride around in a fucking demon. Fuck yeah, I want to ride around in a fucking <laughs> demon. What are you fucking out of your mind? That sounds fucking awesome. Uh, funny thing is, Chevy came out with a Camaro Exorcist. <laughs> Exercise the demon. demon. Is that fucking crazy? What's up, bitch? You gonna let me out? <laughs> that's it, man. So, <coughs> but uh, but yeah, I think that's that's all the segments we have for today on this uh, S Hit Show podcast. I really I do you hope guys. you enjoy. Uh, hopefully, we make this more of a, a regularly scheduled program. Yeah, we shall see. Man. Uh, if not, maybe like once a month is cool. Oh, easily. Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely. do one more once a month. I hope you enjoy the upgraded visuals with the 4K and uh, audio. Uh, our drunken banner actually, I think, worked better in our favor. We weren't uh, stopping and starting every now and then. Yeah, um... Oh, shit. There it goes, Dom. <laughs> All right, whatever. We weren't starting or stopping or anything. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you again. Be sure to subscribe. Sorry the fucking Nikon cheated out on us uh, last, like, whatever. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. On yeah, the- we love uh. you guys.